Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray. Today we're gonna take on Sabrina, and I think that's gonna be it for that for this episode. Anyway, she knows we're coming. She had a vision of us three years ago, apparently, and she's been battling people and losing constantly because people come in and kick her ass and get their badges. And how do you go out of business as a gym leader? Did you ever fucking wonder that? Like, how do you lose it? Like, seriously. Like, well, you know, you've gotten your ass kicked about 1,700 times today alone. So we're just gonna freaking take you out, and you know, you're fired. You're no longer a gym leader. Or is it one of those things that you just kind of give up? You know, as you went. This beyond so cute, by the way. Oh my god, is it cute? It's adorable. Look at that thing. It's adorable. It's adorable. Little weird tail thing kind of freaks me out, but that's okay. It's still adorable. Ellie. Just Ellie making quick work of this shit. Right? Love Ellie. I, I really I really do like Scyther. Um, I know. I'm just gonna sing Scyther's praise the whole LP. The whole damn time. You know, from start to finish. We're just gonna X scissors the shit out of everything and, and, and all that good shit. Cause that's pretty much that's pretty much all we do. Um But yeah. That's that's pretty much I mean look, she's just making quick work. I mean that's two down, she's got an Alakazam. What level is it? Um I wanna say four fifty, fifty one? Fifty five? Oh god, fuck that. No, I'm fucking dyslexic. Holy shit. Hmm. We're gonna go with the stab X's and see what we get out of this. And that's the best course of action. I mean, I think, you know, the stab X's are. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm gonna use your citrus berry or whatever the hell you got sitting there on you. Yeah, fucking berries. You know, I never use those. Never put those on my Pokemon. Mmm, don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Oh, god. Damn. Just X as it should do them in. Yep. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with the way that went. Look at that. I mean, Ellie just made quick work of Sabrina. Absolutely no problem at all. You know, your power it exceeds. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. Jesus Christ. Anyhow, um, I, that's. That's that's the power of Scyther, you guys. You, you should you should be you should take note that Scyther is amazing. Quite honestly, TM48. What the hell is this? Oh, skill swap. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I mean, who would use that? I'm sure there's like some weird random place where like at one random point or not random point, but one specific point in time. We're using that is the be all end all and will win you a match. But fuck that, I ain't putting that on any of my Pokemon. Mm mm. No, I won't. No, I won't. Um, so I wanna go heal first before before we do anything. But after I heal, then we get started, I wanna say on uh Route 8. I was about to say 8th Avenue. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but we're gonna start on Route 8. Eight, and then once we do that, we should be all right. We should be all right going forward. Um, because uh, I think, I think after that, yeah. Oh, we got to go do the um. Oh shit! What's it called? The uh. Fuck! I was just fucking reading it a minute ago. We got to go do the um. Ugh, what is it? It's the fucking Oh god damn the the power plant fucking there we go There we go. We got to go do the power plant and um Route 8 is kind of on our way to lavender and, and all that well route 8 takes us to lavender And I kind of get to started on that whole storyline uh, thing and yeah that whole thing and yeah and that whole thing and yeah so that's pretty much I wanna go with wreckage here to get wreckage more um more 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 experience and we got these guys. Guess what they're gonna have? Coughings and shit. And all that good stuff. We'll drive you under our wheels or whatever he's saying. But um 
yeah, I mean, what... Have you ever thought of, like, Pokemon in terms of, like... Have you ever... Have you ever looked at certain characters and felt like they stereotyped them in the Pokemon that they gave them? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I know we always sit, sit here and talk about, you know, how, like, the predictability of, you know, the, the sprites and, and, you know, you can tell by what they're wearing, what kind of Pokemon they'll probably have and shit like that. Like, what's... Like, have you ever felt like when you look at the biker ones and kind of stereotype them? I mean, I'm not advocating, like, the bikers or, or anything anything like that, because I fucking... That that culture irritates me, or subculture, whatever you kind of... Whatever you want to say. Where where I live, they're nothing but loud and obnoxious. And, and you know, sorry. In my neighborhood, I do not want to hear someone's vehicle six blocks away. I mean... I'm just saying, I hate that shit with a passion. That's rude and intrusive, and I don't appreciate that. That is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, parallel with like walking into your neighbor's house just because you feel like it. I mean, people don't fucking go around doing that, but people feel like they can, you know, drive a vehicle that makes all sorts of fucking noise so that you can hear them from three blocks away. I mean, that 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 irritates me. But anyhow, um. Uh, where was I going with that? Oh, stereotyping. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe maybe I'm just, like, reading between the lines or something like that and try and seeing shit that isn't there. Gyro ball. Ugh, that's kind of frightening. I mean, because, you know, it... I don't know, it's just me. Like, you don't see them, like, whipping out, you know, fucking blossoms or roserades or fucking anything like that. You know? But, I mean, you see it with, like, the scientist ones where they have, like, kind of, I don't know, I guess what you would call techie Pokemon or whatever. I mean, what, I mean, I don't know what the deal is with that. I mean, I don't know, like, I guess you could just, I don't know, maybe I'm just making more of it than I am. But, I mean, it's kind of like, in a world where you think you're trying to do away with all that shit, with stereotyping stuff. And, oh, shit, he's got a Flareon. Yeah, that's fucking breaking the mold right there. Holy shit. But, I mean, you can get what I'm saying, right? I mean... Isn't that, isn't that kind of weird? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I wonder what kind of, like, if, if they were to look at me or, or like, however I would design a character, what Pokemon would he have? Would you be able to, you know, stereotype me into a mold? Although I kind of do have a, not really a theme, but I mean, you know. Well, when, when people say, oh, you like that Pokemon a lot, well, I can kind of see that, you know? But I mean, you know, I guess, I guess to each his own, but I don't know, it's just... It just feels like that sometimes when I play Pokemon. You look at a sprite like these guys, like I said, and it's like, oh, you know, they're stereotyped into having these really obnoxious, you know, Pokemon, these polluting Pokemon, which, ironically, is kind of funny. But, I mean, it, it's just, I don't know. Like I said, maybe, maybe I'm just making more of it than I am. But that's just me. I, I, I just, I just do shit like that. My tiny little brain gets carried away with stuff like that sometimes. And I, and you know, I, I like a good conspiracy theory, so I'm gonna fucking get all up in that shit. But, anyhow, we're done with these guys, and we're gonna get whatever the fuck is in that, that Pokeball here in a second. Whatever the hell it is, god damn it, I want it. But, um, I'm trying to remember, I don't, I don't think we have anything to do, actually, in Lavender Town. I think this time we're just passing through. I think. I think we go, I think... Eventually we get the, the thing, right? The flute again or whatever for the other... For the for the Snorlax again, because I think we still have that. But, um... Yikes! Sorry! Yeah, give me your money so I can send it to my mom, you little bitch. Beat your ass with my Raging Bull Torment. I have no idea what the hell that does. I've never used that. <laughs> nope. There's a lot of stuff in Pokemon that I don't do. If you haven't noticed, and I mean, oh god damn, come on, navigate, navigate the fence there, buddy. Um, like I said, there's, there's a lot, a little, there's a lot, um, yeah, there, there's a lot in this game that I don't really, that I don't really experience, which is weird. It, it's, I don't know, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's kind of interesting considering I really don't do much with like any of the Pokemon contests and shit like that. Like at all. I I kind of just... 
completely ignore that sort of shit. Same thing with like that stupid Hollywood thing. God, that was dumb as hell in Gen 5. God, I hated that thing. That was a, like the lamest part of the storyline I've ever mentioned. Like a lot of people say the TV, the TV show and stuff is all corny and stuff, but that was hands down the lamest and the corniest thing I've ever done in a game. Seriously, I mean I play some pretty fucking corny games and watch some pretty corny shows, but God, that was the worst. That damn, they gave me a lot of money. I'm gonna hit you bitches up for some more money later. I'm gonna fight those two guys later on our, the return trip because we got this guy. And I'm gonna hurry up and get to Lavender and and uh, quick contest. You contest. Just don't take your pants off, sir. Um. Fuck, I don't even know where I was. Oh, right, I just want to get to Lavender Town and save and and let this be let this be the end of our episode. Because it's about time. It's It's been a while. Ah, oh, we're just gonna just head about this poor little Growlithe. Growlithe's cute though. I always like Growlithe. Oh, he's got crunch. That, that ain't no good. I don't like that at all. Nope. Zen headbutt. Another one of those. Concentrate on hitting you with my head really, really hard. And then the horns like poke you in the eye or something. I don't know. But anyway, that, I think that's it for this for this route. Well, at least for now. Like I said, I'll come back and fight those other two nerds. I'm pretty sure they'll fight us. The little fucking sciencey dudes. And they'll probably have like magnemites or electrodes or something like that. You know, like they usually do now. Apparently, I don't know. Like I said, uh, stereotyping. I mean, there's still some that are hard to kind of guess, like the old men that we just saw. Yeah, that's kind of a creepy subject, but yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those things. That's kind of weird. Anyhow, um, that about does it for this episode. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll go double check, make sure we, we don't have to do anything here in Lavender Town, make sure we're just passing through, and then we'll get... Um, moving on towards the whole Kanto, or Kanto, the power plant. Because that's kind of our next, our next, um, big obstacle. Anyway, um, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.